Oh, uh, I am so glad the news is over. I get so tired of hearing about bad stuff. I know what you mean, hun. Now let's just have a relaxing night. Planet of the Apes is on. My favorite show. Oh boy. Uh, that's great. I love that show too, hun. Okay, honey bunny. Let's turn on the TV. Wow. How can so many apes talk so clearly? Wow. Shh. Take that, you damn, dummy, idiot, news jackass station. Sherman, you broke part of the TV. Throwing the remote. I don't care. This is a Channel 1 News special report. Yes, Wayne. We brought you all video on Santa being arrested last night and taken to booking and then placed in jail for 47 charges against him for sexual harassment and one charge of unfair labor. Very shortly here, Santa Claus will be taken to the interrogation room and questioned. Also Wayne, Santa has insisted on being given polygraph testing, which the police normally do anyway. We will be going live shortly with our correspondent, Brian Efron, to get the latest details. In other news, the Bible has now been outlawed in 42 states due to stories about fornication, stoning people, and because it is offensive to other religions. This is also the one month anniversary that all flags in the United States were banned from being hung on poles, porches, or anywhere, due to a petition that it bothered people who were not from here. Okay, I am now getting an update on the Santa story. Here we are with live feed. I said, I want to know why, you didn't bring me, the shotgun I asked for, when I was 8 years old? Please get me out of this cell, this guy is crazy. Well, you're in luck for now, Santa, they want you, in the, interrogation room, so come on. Stand right there, while I get your paperwork. Frosty, what on earth are you doing here? And why are you so skinny? I'm here on the same charge as you of Santa, 24 children, who are adults now, so I talk nasty to them. Well, son of a cockroach's egg on a cow's tit, what is this world coming to? I sure don't know, Santa, but I would never talk nasty to children, you know. Children believing in me is what brought me to life. And I'm losing weight as I sit here because I have to be in temperatures below 32 degrees. It must be 70 degrees in here. If I don't get out of here soon, I will melt and just be gone. This is awful. He's going to die over charges that are not even true. He's melting. Help him, someone. They're ready. Come on, Santa. Let's go. Now. Go sit in the chair. Over there. I cannot believe this is happening to me. I'm Detective Polofsky. Detective, please straighten all this out. This is a big mistake. I am not that kind of person. I'm Santa Claus. I'm sure it is Santa, but you know how it is. We have to ask questions. Okay, ask me anything, anything at all, detective. I have nothing to hide. So, uh, you like children, and have been Santa forever, but do you have any kids of your own? No, I have no kids, but I like to think of the elves as the kids I never had. How often do you and Mrs. Claus, uh, make whoopee? I beg your pardon. I will not answer that question. No, I won't. I'm your friend, and just trying to help you. Sorry I'm late, Poloski. I'm Detective Rogers, and you, Santa, are a disgusting man. 
and I think I should file all charges, as rape, which will put you away, for life. You're gonna sign a confession, and sign it now. Look Santa, I know she is mean, so let's just try, to make a deal with her, and you confess, as long as, you're only charged, with indecent actions, and you're out, in 20 years. Absolutely not. I will not say I did something I have never done. No, no way. I want my polygraph test. I want it now to prove I am innocent. Well, the good cop, bad cop, didn't work. I don't care how many lie detector tests. If he fails, even one of them, we are proceeding with all charges. Yes, nowadays, polygraph tests are very accurate. Hello, I'm Brian Ephraim, with Channel 1 News, here at the police station, where Santa has just been interrogated, and is now being polygraph tested. We will bring you live feed, when we get the results, back to you, Wayne and Lucy. Ha, huh. ah, uh, yes Brian, we will be watching, for that update. Now commercial break. Were you? That was close. Lucy, we can't be having a new scandal about us dating. Aha. Uh -huh. Wayne honey, how much do these women get from a lawsuit against these guys if they win? Oh, it's a big scale, Lucy. But most of these men have good money. So I would say probably a couple hundred thousand dollars each. Oh, really? Uh, where the hell? Did you go? I was just told, we have some live feed now. Okay Mr. Claus, let's begin. Did you have children, sit on your lap? Yes. Did it make you jolly, when these children, sat on your lap? Yes. Did you then, promise these children, toys? Yes. Have you ever fondled an elf? No. They are on the last test, now. How many did they give him? Five total. I said for nobody to bother us. Hello, I am Dr. Van Dawson. I was called to come down here and talk to you, Detective Poloski. I'm going to go get us some coffee while you talk to him. Okay, that sounds good. You can come over here, sir. Thank you for coming down on short notice. Uh, if you haven't seen the news yet, we have several charges of sexual harassment on Santa Claus from a lot of females many years ago, even some elves. You, as Santa's doctor, can you tell me if he has, uh, well, had any issues with sex? Is he sexually healthy. Sue, what you are pretty much asking me is, could Santa Claus have done those crimes? Could he have? Yes, that's what I am asking. <laughs> what? Is so damn funny? Detective, he is Santa Claus. Santa is a sexual Santa has no gender, he may be seen as a man, but he is not sexual, he has no sex organs, neither does Mrs. Claus, they are from another time, it would be impossible for either of them to have any sexual attraction to anyone, even each other. And the same goes for Frosty, the Easter Bunny, Mickey Mouse, Barney, and many others. I told you I was innocent. You're all on the naughty list for the rest of your lives. Welcome back, and we have an exciting update. Santa Claus passed all five polygraph tests. Also we're told that Santa's doctor informed the detectives 
that Santa is asexual, and has no real gender, therefore he could not, commit any of those crimes. The same is said for Frosty the Snowman, who was being held for questioning, on 24 charges. All charges were dropped, even from the elves. Just in time, with Christmas, in two days. It looks like, all will be well. We have been told, that Santa and Frosty, have been released, but Frosty, may need, to gain a little weight. Here is some footage of, Santa, and Frosty, shortly after, leaving, the county jail. Uh, yeah, um, he, uh, needs, um, to put on, some weight. In other news. Uh, let's cut, to, uh, commercial break. Here he comes now. Officer, what's going on? Why did you call me, off the air? Wayne Myers, you are under arrest, for 11 charges, of sexual, harassment, from, Lucy, Donato. This is crazy. Lucy, tell her, we have been in a relationship, for several months, officer, tell her Lucy. Lucy, tell her. So are you think that? Created by, Rose Hill. Santa voice done by, Rosy Hill. All other voices done by, Plotagon and Acapella. Made with, Plotagon Magic. Merry Christmas. The End.